Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Put Chino in the winter paddock. He's been getting chased by Gracie a lot this morning. <laughs> so he needs a break, he needs to eat and have a break. I mean, the other horses don't care, but Gracie? And Gracie's low on the totem pole, which doesn't make any sense. Gracie's so low on the totem pole, and she's like the biggest one after um, after Chino. I guess she wants to boss somebody around, and that's who she's bossing around. Anyways, Gabby and I are just mucking Chino's stall, getting ready for later, and we're going to head out. Because you know, I don't have a truck anymore, and the insurance company is supposed to get back to me within five business days. So if they don't get back to me on my Monday, I think that's five business days, uh, then I'm gonna be really mad because I was already mad that it took two months to find out that they're just gonna pay me out. So I've been looking for trucks and I haven't decided what kind I'm gonna get, but we're gonna go and visit my truck <laughs> so I can take everything out that is in there still. like. I have chairs in there, I got all these trailer hitches in there, and I got my camera system that I have to take out for the trailer, so I need all that stuff. All right, there's the beastie girl, guys. There's my truck. Been sitting here for, for a while. There's the front of it. The fire guys had to go and get out. Come on. We're gonna empty this puppy out and get all my stuff out. I got like, stuff in it still. I got like stuff in it and it's full. It's got a blanket in there. Gotta get this monitor off. Gotta get my hat. See I got a air ride system in here. I got so much stuff on this truck it's unreal. I got these mud things on this truck. These are brand new tires I got on this truck. Here we're gonna need this stuff. And oh crap. And I got another cutter blade for my track for my a bine which I need to get out and I can't put it in the car it's too big all right so I need to get some stuff out here that's all the parts from the break-in right, and I got some lawn chairs back there I need to get so this is our job right yeah. this is our job we're gonna try and empty this puppy out before the insurance gives me my money and sends this to the record Gabby and I got all the parts almost off couldn't get the gooseneck hitch off, uh, but I still got to come back anyways. I got to, I'll have to get my plates and I don't know, I have all these LED lights in it because I upgraded the whole lighting system when I got this truck. So I have LED lights, which are way better and brighter and they last longer. Um, but I think that may have to go with the truck. And yeah, and anyways, I'm, negotiating with the insurance company because I might keep this truck they'll just deduct the scrap value from it and I'll just keep it and that way I have a whole set of spare parts so I just have to find the same truck within a couple years difference because the engines are the same see the engines are like the same for five years before they change so pretty much from 2000 2010 to 2015 it's the same same engine in these trucks so I just have to find the same truck That's pretty much it now we're off to get coffee and go home coffee yeah hey guys welcome to Saturday did you start the vlog already yeah. Sam already started the vlog we are headed out today I have been working on a new channel trailer do you guys remember when we first started our channel long ago we did a channel trailer and it used to be common to like update your trailer and we never have and we always wanted to and I've always been like trying to figure out how to update our channel trailer and a channel trailer basically tells your story it tells what your channel is about and what your perspective is and where you're coming from and it's kind of like a one place stop for new people coming to your channel to see if you're if they're interested in what you have to share and I think it is such a fun thing to do. It's such an important thing to have for your channel because then people aren't wasting their time or it's just like a fast, easy, one-stop place that they can go to get an idea of what your channel is about. So anyways, I got some inspiration recently from a friend on, on, on 
a good way to start it and then it just all seemed to fall together so I'm working on that I've been working on it today Sam's been out doing stuff with the girls now we are headed oh, where are we headed Sam You guys know that we're still looking at farms, hoping to find our forever farm, and Sam found one. Oh, well, there's an auction sale though. Oh, an, an auction, auction sale. sale, farm auction sale. Anyway, Sam wanted me to go and see this one. It's not my dream farm. We're not buying it. I don't think we're gonna buy it. You never know. I don't want to fix her upper farm. We already have that. I want the final ending farm. When that, if we have to paint a little, that's okay. Yeah, a lot at this place. But anyway, we're going to check out a farm. And if I can show you guys some stuff, I will. Anyways, um, let's go farm shopping. We are here and it is private. It is a private farm. It is out in the boonies. It is 100 acres of hay. 100 acres of hay. So we would never ever have to buy hay. The further out you get though, the less like you ha likely you have good internet. And we need internet. That is a big old barn. So the house is like a maze. It's like a maze. So many rooms, so many doors. It's old, which is like one of my favorite things. It has a walk-in linen closet in the upstairs. The real estate agent was such a cute girl. Man, she was such a cute girl. I love nice people. This farm is huge. Has so much possibility. Has a lake in the backyard. Has a lake that the dogs and the kids would love. The whole thing though is a lot of work a lot of work like just to get it it's a farm but just to get like a spot put in for the horses to go just like to move in would be so much work and the whole thing is under it sun might take them two months to clear <laughs> yeah and it might be like the house that we have now how it like took the guy so long to get all this stuff out they had a lot of stuff and it's gonna take a long time for them to clear it all out but it is so much work and the whole thing almost is under sun did you notice it's all under sun yes. and it is hot today <laughs> but anyway it, it it was interesting i don't i just think the house was really old and really cool like i love funky eclectic kind of things like old things i love the way old things look and but just even having to like paint and rip up carpets and stuff like that is a lot for where we are in our life right now. Like Sam and I are just like at the beginning of the end of our lives. Can you believe that? We're like at the beginning of the end and the end could be like 50 years or 40 years or 30 years or whatever, but we're at the beginning of that. And it's not like a time that we want to be renovating, which is why I always like to hold out to the farm for the farm that I want. But anyway, it was so cute. I, I actually really could see me living in the farmhouse and just puttering around to get the stuff done inside like the painting and all that kind of stuff but the outside is just gonna would be so much work do you think yeah we just stopped at a farm stand and I got a dozen corn actually it was 13 I got some cucumbers too but it's nine dollars for a dozen corn nine dollars for a dozen corn nine dollars I like I'm thinking like Corn used to cost four dollars or five dollars, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, like nine dollars is a lot. Did you guys know that chickens can eat corn husk? I just cut it up into little tiny pieces, and they can eat the corn silk, like the silky part. Actually, Sophie has a big pile of silky stuff. It, it um, smells so good. You can take corn on the cob and you can tie it and hang it from the coop, and you can I even can. wrap it in peanut butter, like roll it in peanut butter, and then put roll it in seeds and stuff and then hang it guys if you ever have corn and smell this stuff it smells so good smell the silk Thank sophie and i guys. spend so much time each day trying to think of like new fun things for the chickens to eat <laughs> sophie likes to rush and give it to them before i do Bingo. they're like what is that you scared them sophie they're like ah it's string if i put it in my hand and hold it up then they'll eat it um, here it's not scary that was just Sophie I am. Sophie scared you they're still scared they're like help here's that bug spray hello penny pickle Sophie is setting up jumps or I don't know what it is but Willow does not it's an oxer whoa uh, Sophie is setting up an oxer and Willow's like I'm here Sophie <laughs> 
I'm going to I'm going to try and put some of this into a skirt bottle and see if I can get it to work. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see. It's super slimy and super oily. It's very oily, which is probably the biggest reason that I don't like it. It's so messy, and it makes your, heart, your horse so dirty. Like, you have to literally... It, that makes the dirt stick in, which is weird because somebody told me before that there's an oil you can use to make your, to repel dirt from your horse, but. Guys, don't worry, we're starting with ground poles. We're starting with ground poles. But, as you can see, it creates like this situation where the dirt just gets all rubbed right into her fur. Ooh, she's finally starting to do the winter coat change. And this is a spray bottle. She's like, oh yeah, see? I don't know if you can see what happened. Let's do it on Gracie. So essentially, wait, <laughs> she's gonna walk away. Essentially, it just stays exactly where you spray it. It's not, it's too thick. Don't run away, Willow. It's a spray bottle. Oh yeah, see, it's not bad. Penny, let me put it on you. Penny's like, I do not want it my friends is why you need a lead rope a halter a halter and a lead rope I don't know it's a little better they're like I don't really like it but thank you very much oh this one doesn't really oh, like it well. she followed me though <laughs> she's like what is it Laura can I spray it on your nose <laughs> she's like no thank you and she comes back. She's like, ew, I hate it. And then she comes back. <laughs> it might be worth it in a spray bottle, but I still am going to say no. Someday I'm going to have a million of you, Willow. Uh, she wants donkeys too. I love donkeys. I think they're the cutest things, especially miniature donkeys. But I do not like the sound. Even though I understand <laughs> it was poles, silly. Even though, yeah, even though I understand that the sound donkeys make is very beneficial and very good for predators, I just, it's not my thing. Oh my gosh, I missed it. That was the funniest thing I ever saw. So, <laughs> she just puts the jump up and Willow doesn't even say anything. Willow just walks over top of it. So this is how it goes almost every single day. Sophie does some things with Willow and then Penny just stands there and watches and then she'll go find a ball and bring it and push it to Sophie. You want to do it? <laughs> Put the big ball down for her. <laughs> well, I just missed Willow jump that ox with the most beautiful jump ever and then Penny destroys it. <laughs> I don't think you should treat her for that. <laughs> Either Penny's like, give me a treat, I did good, or don't worry, Willow, I got your back. Oh yeah, she's walking over it, you guys. <laughs> He's so mad now. Put the, put it down on its side and let her push it. I feel like she's just like fine if you don't want me to push the jump I'll push this big thing if she can try and take a barrel out of a tire then I'm pretty sure she can put a ball in one there's no way she can push that tire oh she can push a barrel she's a barrel racer <laughs> is incredible yeah. I'm not even joking it's like a big barrel see if she can move it all the way down the <laughs> she gets mad when she just gets that was a weak push that was a weak one that was a weak push <laughs> <laughs>